What's up beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Johan from Ashwir Creation and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. Well guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a you know, creative photo manipulation just like Brian Adamuk who is a very famous you know youtuber as well as a creative instagram profile so kindly do follow him on instagram as well as in this video i'll show you how you can you know create a cinematic color grading by changing the background in your photograph and just make your instagram profile to kind of in you know, a creative and an adorable look and stand out your profile from the rest so guys before getting into the video just hit the like button and if you still not subscribed to our channel then kindly do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashurecreations.com from there you can download new backgrounds new camera preset new light from preset new loots to color grade your videos as well as photos other cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free so guys go and check it out that website also guys follow me on instagram just type ashur creation and also guys we're gonna launch our second website that is www.filterpreset.com on that website we can upload soon the most creative and the popular effect or the color effect which you are seeing on instagram as well as on youtube that everything would be uploaded in the form of mobile lightroom preset pc lightroom preset camera preset and also the loots so guys stay tuned and it will take some time you know to upload the content on that website guys before any further ado let's jump to the video till then guys be creative and be awesome So guys just select the quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make the subject to be selected in a proper way. So after selection just you know right click on it and select leave or copy or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard. So here we have done a cut out of the subject or the model. Now let's crop the image for your instagram upload. So select the 4 is to 5 ratio and just increase the size of the image whatever you want or whatever kind of you know size you want for your instagram upload just increase the size just like this way and hit ok now all you gonna do is let's just stretch the you know background or the image so select the area on the left side of the image now just right click on it and select leave a copy and just press ctrl d go to edit select free transfer or directly ctrl d flip it horizontal way and just hit ok now just merge that layer with the background layer first of all we will just duplicate the image for our reference now just merge both the layers right click on it select merge layers now <coughs> again select the quick select uh, mark u tool and just select the right portion right, right click on it select via copy Go to edit, select free transfer, flip it horizontal way and I'll just merge both the layers. Now again just select the area, now just press the ctrl D and just stretch up to the area of our image. Again let's do the same process on this side, press ctrl D or go to edit, select free transform and just stretch it until the area is covered. Now all you gonna do is just uh, let's uh, make some kind of you know patch tool or just heal some kind of you know cloning. So select the patch tool and just clone the area so may, that it may not look unreal or unnatural because we have done a flip flop that's why. So just to select this area <coughs> and just drag it to the nearest area which you want so it will automatically take the adaptation of that area again let's do the same process over here just select that and just here select the nearest area and drag to that kind of area so that it may look you know, more natural and realistic so here we have done a process or the completed our process now all you gotta do is uh, so here you can see the before and after now let's add the background go to the file click on open Just browse the background from your all the backgrounds are down given in the description so you can just download all the stuff for free so let's take this sunset photo 
just drag it and drop over here now you can adjust the area which you already want press ctrl d to enhance or enlarge the image now just select I'll add a layer mask on it and select the brush tool and select the red color and just delete the area which you don't want so this one is really looking pretty much perfect now just clean up some kind of area from the hairs near the hair region so that it may you know look very much realistic now go to the image layer and select the filter select blur and just add a box blur to it just add a little bit of box blur so that we can see the background very perfectly and clearly so here you can see the finest details are given of the hairs and the, it is blended merged very perfectly the background Now again let's go to the solid color and add some kind of blackness vignette on the image so change the blending mode to first of all select the brush tool and just delete it from the middle portion. Let's press the subject layer by pressing the control key and erase that area perfectly and just delete a little bit of from there making the opacity a little bit of now change the blending mode to multiply and just decrease the opacity gradually until it fades away and just make it look amazing. Now you can see the difference it is really looking very amazing and let's just add some kind of highlights by deleting some area from there. You can do whatever you know kind of delete you want. So this one is really looking very much amazing. you can see the difference before and after now go to the file click on open and let's add these fairy lights on the image just drag it and drop over here go to the filter or just change the blending mode to screen and go to the edit select the free transform or just rotate it and place there on the area where you want let's place it on the corner of the image now just right click on it and select the wrap tool and just make it a kind of you know place it on your hand like it should be looking like you are holding a fairy lights just make sure to keep that perfectly on the hand and hit ok this one is really looking very much perfect here you can see the before and after So here you can see the vignette is actually looking very pretty much perfect. So go to the file click on open and let's add this bokeh image just drag it and drop it over here. Change the blending mode to screen and here this bokeh is really looking very much original and kind of perfect. So just press the ctrl T button and you can just place it somewhere on the area or the back side of the image of the image now you just delete this bokeh image if you want you can just keep it otherwise i'll be putting this link also in the description you can download this bokeh file also now just drag it and drop over here and just increase the size and flip it on the other side now select the eraser tool and just delete this bokeh from here so that it may not look you know it is unreal Now select press the control D control key from the image and just erase the area or the hairs. It should be it should be looking very much original. That is our key point in the image or the photo manipulation. Now create a new create a brush and just paint it when with one black stroke because we want a kind of little bit of blackness on the back side of the image just create a little bit of blackness just decrease the opacity to kind of you know 25 percent or whatever it is shooting for the background just keep it 22 percent so you can see the difference it is really looking very much amazing and kind of giving a depth of field kind of you know dark is effect
now go to the file click on open and just uh, first of all crop the image so select the crop tool and just hit ok now all you're gonna do is just merge all the layers from here right click on it and select the shift key first of all we'll add some kind of color loops to the it so go to the adjustment layer, select the 3D LUT or the color lookup and let's select AVC Cinematic 4 or the Cinematic 10 preset is actually looking very much amazing so select the Cinematic 10 preset this preset I'll be putting links down given in the description or you can you know directly from our website of this post so you can download this 10 cinematic loots from the links of our website now just merge all the layers right click on it uh, sorry shift key and just select all and right click on it and select the merge layers now again let's crop once again now go to the filter select the camera filter from there if you want to add or let's just go to the filter select the camera filter and let's just add some kind of you know color effect and make a color correction over there go to the FX and let's add some vignetting on the image a little bit of midpoint <coughs> and roundness whatever is more suitable for you you can just play with this curves or the adjustments add some feather to it now go to the adjustment panel and make it the temperature if you want to may change the temperature you can change it otherwise just keep it as it is let's increase this contrast and decrease some highlights if you wanna you can just play with this you know panel whichever is more looking good on your images you can always do this kind of you know adjustment by yourself let's increase the shadow a little bit Decre in let's increase the highlights a little bit and shadow a little bit only you can always experiment you know by adding the highlights or decreasing it which one is looking perfect you can just do it, it just make a whiteness a little bit and just make a darkness this place minus 2 would be pretty much perfect here you can see the before and after a kind of you know little bit of difference is seen in your image and making it look more amazing now go to the cows or let's go to the first of all we will increase the clarity a little bit make it to plus 25 or 15 or 11 something like that don't overdo the clarity because you want a naturalism also so go to the co hsl panel let's now select the red color and just make the skin tone to kind of you know gold look so just play with this you know color correction levels so you can see the difference from the red to kind of you know yellowish tone it is giving so which we want actually just increase the luminescence of the orange so that it, so that your skin would be highlighted and look glowing again go to the hue and let's just select the orange color and just make a little bit of adjustment until your skin becomes a kind of goldish look don't, we don't want our skin to be look red so just make it gold kind of yellowish if you want to add some matte effect you can add otherwise it is not actually needed it is really looking very much perfect in this effect so just keep it as it is and hit ok so guys finally you can add some kind of black matte effect go to the selective color and go to the black color and just make it to minus one 
This was would be pretty much perfect. We don't want too much of matte effect. Just merge it with the background. So finally here we have done our process of editing and looking very very amazing. Just like you know, just add a little bit of sharpness and here we are done. It is really looking like Brian Adamant. So you can see the difference guys. Here is the before and here is the after. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed then just press the like button and if you still not subscribed then subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets. Also visit our website www.ashurecreations.com. From there you can download all the stuff for your mobile lightroom, PC lightroom, all the preset of loots and many more stuff for your photo editing as well as video editing just for free. Also we are gonna launch our second website filterpreset.com soon. So guys stay tuned on that website also it will take some time to upload the creative content over there. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video. Till then guys be creative and be awesome.